Johnny, uh, it, I think it was your words, it's a bit of a surreal experience when you, you roll out here and you, you've got such good quality horses. You've got five of the top seven in betting at the Golden Slipper. Do you pinch yourself? Yeah, sure, Russ. Um, obviously, you see the wonderful surroundings with which we get to come to work every morning and then combine that with um, amazing horse flesh and good people. It's, uh, I'm a very lucky person. Pressure's on, though. You, the, the, the autumn carnival and the two-year-old season really ramps up a gear with the Silver Slipper, the Blue Diamond, those sorts of races coming up in the next fortnight. Yeah, look, it's, um, this is the time of year that we all live for and we hope to be successful in uh, foundations there. So, you know, we've just got to uh, just continue to dot our I's and cross our T's and hope that it falls our way on race day. Well, dot your I's, cross your T's. Ottoman's got a couple of T's, a few O's, and uh, uh, despite the name, she's a filly. Yeah, well, you'll have to discuss that with Suzanne, but um, she's a very special filly, and she's been a special filly uh, from day one. Um, you know, we're happy with where she's at, and hopefully she'll get a good, give a good account of herself on Saturday. She's the sort of filly that seems quite imposing. She's quite sprightly and well within herself. Um, have you noticed that all, all the way through? Um, what I'd say, yeah, look, she's been a, you know, she's the size of a colt, isn't she? You know, and um, spent a bit of time. She's a little bit aggressive early. Um, and one of the reasons she's trained here is just to make sure she's nice and relaxed. And, but at the moment, um, she's doing everything right. And, but she does need to get some miles under her legs and uh, get some seasoning and some tough racing and preparation for the Golden Slipper. So the Silver Slipper is a stepping stone, but not uh, she's not fully wound up. I know she, you know, but she's fought enough. You know, like you wouldn't want to be going into a race of this nature not being forward and having a hard run and, and you know gas her, so to speak. So had to make sure that she's had a good foundation and she's ready to run a race on Saturday. And has she always been the pick of your two-year-olds or is there something there that we haven't seen yet? Oh, look, I'd say that there's five horses there that are, you know, in a group together, you know, and so um, she's one of them. Um, and, um, you know, I suppose there's not a great deal between, you know, when you gallop them here on, on a Tuesday morning, mate, there's not a great deal between, you know, those five. Going into a race like this, are you confident uh, with the way things are going? You had a good win last week uh, in, in one of the group races and uh, it's all starting to be group two, group ones from here until the end of the championships. Oh, look, I, I don't think you ever go in with the level of confidence that you're going to win a race of that quality because I, I think that the, the, the Silver Slipper is a really strong quality race this year and um, probably you know, take out Fontes and the best two-year-olds in Australia are all lining up in the one race on Saturday. So. Um, you know, we'd just be happy to run well and, and lay a foundation for the rest of the autumn. Uh, Johnny, the complex out here, with, you know, it's magnificent. It's, it's almost like a resort uh, for, for horses. Yeah, we, like, you know, we're very lucky to have it, Russ. And, um, it gives us a significant advantage, and I think one of the factors in the success of the two-year-olds this year has been the advent and, you know, the use of Osborne Park. So um, hopefully we'll continue to use it like this and, and to the benefit of uh, Godolphin, Australian Shape Muhammad.